Hi, welcome back to the Spirits Path. This is D, and today's tarot card of the day out of the Wildwood Tarot deck is the King of Stones, the Wolf, and howling at howling at that moon. And uh, you know, when I first saw this card come up for the card of the day, I was like, man, we haven't had talked about him lately. Um, and here we go again with another run of court cards with uh, some major arcana in there. You know, and you know, how's this going to relate? Because uh, this king, king of stones, this wolf, is a, uh, you, you know, he's he's symbolic of the guardian of the dead, and especially on their journey to the underworld. Okay, he he helps he helps guide them. So you know, here we have this forest lovers come up, and you know, I'm talking about love yourself yesterday, and you know, then this king of stones shows up. And, you know, like I say about the court cards, the king's rule of the castle um, or the kingdom, you know, stones is all about security and stability. And we've had enough of those here in the last, uh, you know, last week. You had the page of stones come out, five of stones, eight of stones. All right. So, you know, there's a lot of stability and security, you know, within the this weekly spread that we've talked about. And, uh, you know, this, this king of stones, he, he's very very pragmatic with his money okay very pragmatic with his security and his stability and if you go to him for advice he's going to give you the advice uh, that's going to get you more secure more stable okay um, if this is a person you know or if this is you uh, this is going to be a mature individual somebody who's pragmatic and steadfast as I said uh, they're going to offer security and stability and they're a natural businessman. They could be relied on to to, uh, they, to keep their promises. Um, you know, so, you know, if this is somebody that is in your work situation, okay, it could be a boss. It could be, uh, you know, somebody you work closely with that, you know, gives you that security and stability. Um, you know, putting reports together or something like that. Somebody you can bounce an idea off. If you're a student, this would be, you know, like a professor. Or you could take your paper to them to have them proofread it beforehand. Um, you know, if this is in a relationship, uh, you know, it could be, you know, somebody who's who's very business-like. You know, that gives you that, that good advice on, you know, how to move your business along. Okay, if it's in a social setting... Um, you know, it could be, you know, a friend that uh, may be able to, you know, has done well with, you know, their money, you know, and, you know, maybe able to show you how you could save money or how you can, you know, spend it more wisely, um, you know, things of that nature. If this is a, an aspect, um, this is somebody who appreciates the good things in life, uh, more of like that Leo quality. Um, where, you know, they've got to have the, you know, they don't have to have the finest, but, you know, they like to have the finest things in life. And, uh, you know, some of this aspect is, too, learning how to handle money, learning how to handle your finances, learning to how to handle a budget. That's a great aspect, you know, especially a household budget, um, you know, saving up for that rainy day or, you know, some things on that nature. Um, if this is an event, this is going to be somebody who has an estate or land, um, you know, or possibly going through the process of, you know, buying more land, okay? Um, most estates that I know of are, you know, homesteads. So, you know, if you're in the process of owning a home, you know, that's, that's kind of what that event is. It's also about your health, you know, having that security and stability with your health, making sure you're doing the right things, eating the right things, you know, making sure you're getting that exercise. And it's, uh, you know, with, with the stones, it's also, you know, the financial support. You know, do you have the financial support um, in, your, in your life, you know, to make the right decisions and move forward? So, you know, the questions that this king asks is, what advice gives you the best security? Who do you, you know, you're coming to this king of stones for advice, okay? Who, who could that person be in your life? That gives you that best advice for security. Is that a significant other? You know, is that a financial advisor? You know, could it be, um, you know, a boss that you're working on a project? All right. And the other question that they ask is, where is life offering you its riches? 
If you were to just take a step back right now and take a step out of yourself and look down, what riches do you have? And I'm not talking financial riches. I'm talking, you know, bless, blessings. You know, you have a car that works. You got a roof over your head. You got food in the refrigerator. You know, maybe you have a pet that adores you. Okay. Maybe you have significant others that are out there, you know, uh, you know, giving you the, you know, the forest lover's love. Okay. Maybe it's your friends. Okay. That are giving you your riches, you know, that are out there caring about you. They're glad to see you. Okay. Um, you know, maybe it's coworkers where, you know, you have that stability and security within your job. Okay. Where is life offering you its riches? That's, you know, that's a great question to ask, you know. So, you know, those two questions, what advice gives you the best security? What advice can this King of Stones give you for the best security? And where is your life offering you its riches? You know, leave those comments down below. I'll read them and, you know, I'll get back to you. You know, and as I pertain this to this, you know, to the spread of wealth, with what's going on, um, that three of bows, that fulfillment dropped off with this card that came up. So... You know, what advice gives you the best security? I'll go backwards. In loving yourself. Okay, or, you know, as you, as you looked at loving yourself yesterday, where is life offering you its riches? What did you find, you know, when you looked deep within, you know, to love yourself? What was the message from that page of stones? Okay. What was the message that he gave you or she gave you for your best security? All right, or where you know your best rich, riches lie. And if you combine that with that queen of vessels, see if I can hold these up straight. You know, if you combine that with that queen of vessels, you know, here you got a page that wants to learn and you got a queen that wants to nurture. Okay, so that, you know, going into that forest lover's card, Okay, where do you need to nurture your heart? What do you need to need to be more devoted to? Okay, what's enchanting to enchanting you? You know, those were just some of the questions that it asked. You know, where do you need to learn more? Was it with the page? Okay, where do you need to learn more with your with that King of Stones characteristic or trait? You know, these three cards are very very powerful. You know, when they all come together because it makes you want to. It helps you learn, okay, on, on the direction you're going, okay, with your finances, your security, and stability. And he, when you look at that forest lovers, it's come up twice. You know, there's a lot of security and stability there, okay, in that union, that polarized union between male and female, even the balance of the, of the earth. That five of stones endurance earlier this week just the aspect of being able to and you know weather out the storm okay to endure that love that you know we talked about before because here comes that other forest lovers curve earlier or we're talking about others this time you know how could you help others show them where their life offering is and rich in their riches you know where do their riches lie maybe you can be that king to them showing them how blessed they really are. Maybe you're that king to, to others out there as you're, you know, out there as you're giving them love that shows you, that shows them what their best security is. Maybe you're acting as that king to that forest lovers. Okay, and in the Eight of Stones, that skill set, you know, what advice as a king do you give this guy? What if this is you? What kind of advice would you, you know, expect to get from somebody, maybe your boss? Hey, you're doing a great job. Everything going all right there. You know, everything going all right with a project. You know, how are things going with this? You know, I know you're busy. You know, I know you're shorthanded, but you're doing a great job. Keep up the good work. You know, or, you know, does that king say, you know what? Your skill set is so great. You know, you are really blessed in, in helping out the community with making knives and bowls and things of that nature. So that's how that King of Stones works. That wolf, um, especially howling up at that 
at the full moon. We're just, uh, you know, the full moon happened the other night. And I know when I drive in the, in the work, I see it in the morning. So, um, you know, the foul, that full moon is powerful. You know, it's able to manifest a lot of things in this next two weeks for you. Um, you know, maybe that's more security. Maybe that's more stability. So that's the card of the day, the King of Stones, the wolf. Uh, this is D for the Spirit's Path. I uh, hope you enjoyed the message. Make sure you hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Uh, leave your comments down below. And I'll read them and get back to you. And uh, until then, take care. God bless. Stay safe. And we'll talk to you tomorrow. Have a great day, everybody.